you know, I don't have to wait for Easter to celebrate the reality of the resurrection of Jesus. He is very much alive because he lives in me as a resurrected savior. And to all who've been born from above, the resurrected Jesus, the living Jesus is living in us. You know, oftentimes through the years, I've heard things that I, I wished I could memorize. Like when uh, Leonard Ravenhill wrote uh, Why Revival Tarries, I basically memorized the book. Not just sayings. I, I've memorized so many things that great people said they'd be phrases or paragraphs. And when I heard S.M. Lockridge, I mean, it's been 30 to 40 years ago that I heard him uh, preach on uh, my king. Amen, he called it. He had several different references to it. But when I heard it, I said, man, I want to memorize that. I would just memorize things because he talked about the king of kings. He said he's the king of the Jews. Now, by the way, this is the resurrected Jesus. The king of the Jews, he's a racial king. He's the king of Israel, a national king, the king of righteousness, the king of the ages, and the king of heaven and the king of glory. He's the king of kings, and he's the Lord of lords. He said, Lockridge did, that's my king. And as I do, he wondered, do you know him? David said, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament reveals his handiwork. My king is sovereign king. No means of measure can define his limitless love. No far-seeing telescope can bring into visibility the coastline of his shoreless supply. No barrier can hinder him from pouring out his blessings. He's enduringly strong entirely sincere, eternally steadfast, immortally graceful, empirically powerful, impartially merciful. Do you know this Jesus? Because he is the greatest phenomenon that ever crossed the horizon of the world. He's God's son. He's the center savior. He's the centerpiece of civilization. He stands in the solitude of himself. He's awesome. He's unique. He's unparalleled. He's unprecedented. He's the loftiest idea in literature, the highest personality in philosophy, the supreme problem in higher criticism. He's the fundamental doctrine of all true theology. He's the cardinal necessity of spiritual religion. He's the miracle of the age. He's the superlative of everything good that you choose to call him. He's the only one qualified to be an all-sufficient Savior. I wonder if those of you listening and watching know him today. He can be your personal Savior, your Lord, your friend. He supplies strength for the weak. He's available for the trampled and tried. He sympathizes and he saves. He strengthens and sustains. He guards and he guides. He heals the sick, cleanses the lepers, forgives the sinners. He discharges debtors and delivers captives. He defends the feeble. He blesses the young. He serves the unfortunate. He regards the aged. He rewards the diligent and he beautifies the meek. Do you know him? I pray you do. He is the King of Kings. He is the key to knowledge. He's the wellspring to wisdom. He's the doorway of deliverance. He's the pathway of peace. He's the roadway of righteousness. He's the highway of holiness. He's the gateway of glory. Do you know him? His office is manifold. His promise is sure. His light is matchless. His goodness is limitless. His mercy is everlasting. His love never changes. His word is enough. His grace is sufficient. His reign is righteous and his yoke is easy and his burden is is light. I wish I could describe him to you, but he's indescribable. He's incomprehensible. He's invincible. He's irresistible. <laughs> well, you can't get him out of your mind and you can't get him off your hands. You can't outlive him and you can't live without him. The Pharisees couldn't stand him, but they found out they couldn't stop him. Pilate couldn't find any fault in him. The witnesses couldn't get their testimonies to agree. Herod couldn't kill him, death couldn't handle him, and the grave could not hold him. That's my king. That's my king. Father, yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever and ever and ever. How long is that? And when you get through with all the forevers, then amen and amen. 
do you know this King Jesus? The one who gave his life to give us life. The one who died that we might live. The one the grave could not hold. The one who is alive today. Not only who went to be seated at the right hand of the Father, but said in resurrection power, I live in you. The kingdom that's at hand is now in you. The King of kings and Lord of lords has been raised not only to give us life, but to live his life in us and through us. That his love and that life would flow like a river of transforming truth and unconditional love. If you don't know him, trust him today. Let this living Jesus be your king, your Lord, and your Savior.